Hello folks, it's the Justified Ancient of Goblins Creations, Kevin. And today I'm going to do a simple open cap pour. Uh, this really is simple, ideal for beginners. You can use as few as three colours. Uh, dark blue, a mid blue and white. I am using two mid blues. One is a fluorescent mid blue and one is a metallic mid blue so that should create some interesting effects. I'm also using silver uh, mainly because I like silver and I'm not too fond of white. So always play around and have a look find out what your favourites are. Now before anyone goes oh my god what have you done to your canvas uh, those six splodges of black I had some black paint left over and I didn't want to waste it so I have put it onto the corners really to act as a medium uh, a sort of uh, cravelator for my my paint across the canvas uh, don't worry the paint will go over the black the black will not show however the black will make sure that the paint moves smoothly across the canvas and you can see immediately that it will either go over the paint or push out the black paint so it's not going to cause a problem now work the paint round. If you see something you don't like, you have a choice. You can fix it like I'm going to do here. I, I think that's a bit solid. I'm just going to squidge it up a bit. Uh, or you can pour it off the canvas as long as you've got enough paint on there. Or worst case, you pour it all off and you start again. Now, this has actually gone on to the canvas very well. It's made of nice edges as well. I've uh, only had to touch up one corner of the six, so I'm very pleased with that. I'm just going to now burn off any bubbles and then I'm going to try and encourage it with a cell drive. Now there is silicon in this paint mix. Uh, the amounts are in the comments below as are the brands and the colours of all the paints that I've used in this. Now I do like these sort of uh, watery swirls. Uh, pouring media does lend itself to make this sort of fantastic spume pattern with with all of the bubbles in uh, you can you can imagine this sort of uh, at the bottom between a ship and a, a jetty those sort of little eddies and currents going back and forth uh, with the spume on top of the water i will finish this video with a couple of close-ups so thank you very much for watching any questions please leave them in the comments below